guys and welcome back to my channel you already know the vibes drop a comment down below let me know where you're coming from and if you're a new subscriber subscribe join the family and if you are returning self then i see you we're back again with another video you girl is on a roll you girls on a roll we've been posting content every day because i know i've been lacking on youtube but i've got more content coming for you guys and today we are going to be cooking some jerk barbecue chicken nice quick and easy i'm not making my own jerk marinade today because i did actually make some like a week ago but it ran out and i'm doing a little quick recipe for you lot in it so just in case you want something with flavors as usual something quick this is what we're doing so as you guys will see i marinated my chicken overnight so it's had a good you know you guys are gonna see of course you're gonna see how i marinated it yesterday and then how it looks today so it's gonna be nice flavorful mm. and i've actually decided to do some fried festivals with them because i realized i've done fried dumplings on my channel but i haven't done fried festival and that goes well with jerk chicken so i'm gonna do that as well so stay tuned for that video as well make sure you're following me on all my socials chanel a wallace on tiktok and food with chanel on facebook pinterest youtube all of that jazz oh and chanel a wallace on snapchat add me up on snapchat i'm trying to build that as well let's get straight into it ingredients list will always be in the description down below let's get straight into making some jerk barbecue chicken so this is everything you're going to need for your jerk barbecue chicken in the oven quick recipe no long thing of course we could make our own jerk seasoning but we're not doing it today i'll do it in another video but this is just for a quick one if you need to turn out some oven jerk chicken in basically about an hour and 30 minutes so we've got our clean chicken thighs here about eight pieces and then this is everything that you're going to need to season it up with but the ingredients list will always be in the description down below so let's get straight into it and season up this chicken so we're going to get straight into it and season up our chicken so first of all we're going to go in with our schwartz chicken seasoning about a teaspoon of that then our duns river all-purpose seasoning we're going to go in with a teaspoon of that as well and then ground black pepper we're going to go in with half a teaspoon of that then some Duns River jerk seasoning we're gonna go in with a teaspoon of that we're going to add a quarter teaspoon of ground ginger half a teaspoon of garlic granules about two teaspoons of any wet jerk marinade so just two teaspoons of that preferably i like this one which is called jamaica's pride i like jamaica valley and I'm trying to think there's some other brands that i like but i'll put it in the description below which ones are like my go-to's but definitely jamaica valley jamaica's pride yeah there's quite a few and then any cheap barbecue sauce you know it's totally fine so we're going to add about four tablespoons of that in oh and then i almost forgot there was one more thing that i didn't add to the party which was a maggie liquid seasoning and you want about two tablespoons of that once you've got everything in the bowl with the chicken you just want to season it up be careful because of you cleaning the chicken with that skin on you don't want to rip the skin off so you just want to basically make sure that you're careful with the chicken so even if you was to just fold them like that you can also still stir it but again just be careful with how vigorous you are 
and what I'm gonna do this guys finally finally I know sometimes I season overnight sometimes I don't today we are seasoning overnight so I'm gonna be cooking these tomorrow so it's gonna get all in there oh I absolutely forgot as well so basically you want to add some fresh time to this as well so what I'll even do I will add the fresh thyme and then I will wrap it with some cling film just to seal in all those flavours so they don't escape and then yeah just put this in the fridge you can even put it in a like a big sandwich bag I might actually do that to be fair because then the bowl won't be like too big in the fridge I'll show you guys what I mean but yeah once your chicken looks like this we're gonna get it into the sandwich bag and into the fridge to marinate until tomorrow oh and with our time of course so I've just got some fresh thyme here so I'm gonna add that in as well so then I've got a clean sandwich bag here so what I'm gonna do is just take the pieces of chicken and just drop those in there it makes it so much easier like doing this you could put it in the freezer leave it to marinate even longer totally up to you but that all depends so if you froze this chicken then you can't freeze it again but if you bought this chicken fresh then you could do this clean it season it up put them in sandwich bags and then put it in the freezer for meal prep So once you've got all your chicken in the bag, don't forget about the leftover seasoning that you will have in the bowl. So just scrape that down and scrape that into the bag as well. And then once you've done that, just seal the bag, make sure there's no air me because I'm being extra extra cautious and these bags aren't that great I'm gonna double it I'm gonna put this inside of this one and then I'm gonna seal it that's gonna go in the fridge until tomorrow and then we're gonna get cooking it Ooh. so here we are guys a day later had that extra marinade, oh, it's cold. But here we are, nice and marinated. That's what you want. You know, you can even leave it in there for another day. It's totally up to you. We are going to be cooking this now and we're gonna get it straight into the pan. Here we have the chicken there. Then you just wanna get an oven tray and line it with foil. The reason why I like to line it with foil is because what we're gonna do first we're going to almost bake the chicken so that it's nice and brown and everything on the outside and then we're going to cover it and let it stay juicy and all of that and the foil helps that so if you guys are wondering why there's foil at the bottom it helps with that keeping the chicken juicy and keeping all that sauce that you're going to have in the tray because remember we're doing oven baked jerk chicken it's not going to be dry when i say dry i mean like you've done it on a grill it's gonna still be like jerk chicken but more with a sauce okay so yeah turn on your oven so that it preheats and whatever whilst you're doing this and then simply this is why preparing your chicken from the night before is very easy and saves a lot of time get your chicken and literally just pour it out onto the tray all of those juices let it drip down then get rid of this and then just get some tongs or something and then just separate the chicken so that it's all spread out Put 
putting them in a line together so that there's enough room. Spread them out. Keep the thyme in there as well. You don't want to get rid of it. Once you've got all your chicken thighs in a tray like this, we're going to bake it first at about, about 180 and I'm going to check on it after about 25 minutes because again I want to like really brown the outside but I don't want to dry it out so we're not going to cook it totally so you know what actually 180 for 20 minutes and then I'm going to check on it hopefully you guys can see because there's a lot of sunlight right now but yeah okay so 20 minutes at 180 and then we're going to check it and also put it on the top shelf and make sure the skin is the side up not down you guys can see and this is what we wanted so we want for the chicken to be you know nice and brown I'm not turning them because I want that skin to stay like this okay so what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna add some barbecue sauce to this here so that it can kind of like build up that jerk barbecue flavor and then i'm going to put it back in the oven but i'm going to turn it down now to maybe like 160 and then check on it again in another 30 minutes so i'm just going to add some barbecue sauce to the sauce so just squeeze it in the areas around where all those juices are from the chicken Get a spoon and a tea towel and just lean it to the side so that all those juices can pour down. You can scrape down all that leftover marinade and whatnot down there. And again, just take your time, no rush. So all that marinade that's at the bottom of the pan like this, this is why I use the foil so that you can get all that around. Mix it in with that barbecue sauce a bit. So you may need some more. So hold it at the same time like that. And maybe add about, so I added about four tablespoons just then. So add another four to the chicken and then just mix it in with those juices there like that and once you've mixed in all those sauces in with that juice now we are going to pour it over the chicken because what I want to happen is that it's almost going to create like a glaze on top of the chicken because of the sweetness in the barbecue sauce and the sugar that's in there so yeah what you're going to do just take that and just pour it over the chicken you've poured it all over I've actually changed my mind I'm not going to cover the chicken but I'm going to turn it down lower than what it was so it was at 180 before we're going to put it down to about 160 and then we're going to check on it again in about 20 minutes so once you've covered all your chicken with those juices and then added that barbecue sauce as well put it back in the oven for about 20 minutes at 160 and then we're going to check on it again so now our chicken should be ready there we go what I did was after I left it in for about it was about 25 minutes on 160 or 20 minutes 20 to 25 minutes I put it back in but I put it on really low 
at like a hundred just to keep everything almost like warm and to reduce this sauce a little bit because you don't want the chicken to dry out but you also want to keep this sauce so if I zoom in jerk barbecue chicken with that nice glazy sauce on top just pour that over yum 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 and let me even pick a piece up for you guys I might even put it on a plate because what I'm going to do is serve this with some festivals that I'm going to fry fresh now so I would jerk barbecue chicken with that nice sauce let's pour over some of that sauce Perfect, easy recipe, doesn't take no time. Nice, juicy, succulent barbecue chicken. What do you think guys? How does that look? Should we pick up a piece so that everyone can see? Here's a close-up of the chicken. Mm -mm -mm. And if we even look at the other side, look at that nice and tender. Coming away, not dry at all. Nice and juicy. That's the way that you want it. So we're going to put this to the side, fry our festivals, and then it will be good to go. I'm going to also plate up this amazing jerk barbecue chicken look at that tell me that doesn't look fire tell me that doesn't look fire so we're just gonna put our jerk chicken onto a plate And then we're going to pour all this excess juice over the top, some of the festivals around it. And then there we have it guys, jerk chicken with festivals, jerk barbecue chicken in the middle festivals around it perfect for a little saturday dinner or friday night dinner for you and the family or your friends what are we thinking guys looks delicious okay guys so of course if you're here then you have seen the festivals or you've seen the jerk chicken or you are now seeing both tell me that doesn't look amazing now my battery's about to die so i can't even be in with the long chitty chats but i'm just going to show you this and even lift it up to show you guys now tell me that chicken does not look delightful and it was done in the oven okay so i'm actually going to taste the I'm actually going to taste the festival first because it's the easy thing to eat before my battery dies, so look at that. I'm going to try it now. The nutmeg, the cinnamon, it's giving everything it needs to give crispy it's beautiful this is what you want when you have a festival and now for the chicken look at this
Now tell me that isn't looking juicy and succulent and just look at that. Mm-hmm. Okay. You take that and then I'm going to take a bite now. This is heaven on earth. I'm being serious. No lie. That skin there. I'm already excited because I had the chicken that had the flavour. Now I'm having the skin from the chicken. Mm. This might just be one of the best things I've made on my channel. I'm not going to lie. I've saved this so that I can be craving as hell once I get off camera and eat it that's how banging it is it's one of them ones where you need to you need to go into beast mode to eat it it's you've got the balance of the sugary donut type dumpling oh. then you've got the spicy but it's not spicy like that though it's like it's sweet as well because of the barbecue so it balances out everything everything balances it out try this ingredients list is in the description down below just look at it just look at it. Come on. Take it in. Take it in, guys. I can't lie. Take it all in because I feel quite lucky that I get to eat this again and again. And you could be eating it too. All you got to do is go in the description of this video and the videos before and you will get to make the whole thing. So if you're watching this, you're either watching the jerk chicken video or you're watching the festival video. Click on the video that you see at the end of this one, watch it to make the whole thing and let me know in the comments what you thought because I'm really impressed. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you loved it, give it a big thumbs up and make sure that if you're not subscribed, this is the reason why you should subscribe, okay? And the reason why you should follow me on all my socials, Chanel A. Wallace on TikTok and Food with Chanel on Pinterest, Facebook, YouTube, all that jazz. And make sure you follow me on Snapchat as well, Chanel A. Wallace. See you in the next video.